Hello, cookbook friend, and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie, and today I'm really excited to check out World Food. This is a whole series. This is by James Osland, and this is Mexico City. So I'm, yeah, this is a really cool series of different books. I highly recommend checking them all out, but let's look at this one. I was realizing that my husband and I haven't been, I don't know why we haven't been making as much Mexican food in general. Um, even if it's just kind of our small, you know, bank of dishes that we usually make. And I was like, we need to learn how to make more. I don't know why. We went to Mexico and it was some of the best food we've ever had. And I don't know, maybe we just thought we would never be able to replicate all the things that we had. So I'm just, yes, I'm excited about this. I've been excited about Mexican food all week. So let's check this out. We have food from the hearth to heart, and then we have the heat that tames hunger. Without corn, there is no Mexico. Then we have nourishing land, nourishing tables. And then we have passion as deep as the sea. Next, we have platos fuertes, pride on a plate. Then we have los dulceros. Next is a thirst for life. And next is Mexico City Ref referencia so these are all just fancy ways of saying here's our seafood chapter here's our beverage chapter vegetable chapter etc so we have here on the table of contents the page where everything starts so if we wanted to go to the bebitas or the beverages chapter we'd go to page 177 and then we have a list of all the things you will find in that particular chapter I think the reason why they don't necessarily give out the chapters is because I did take a peek at it, but it's, it's kind of a big story. There's all these beautiful recipes that are incorporated in a big narrative, and I love that. We get to learn about Mexico City, Mexican culture, food, and we get recipes incorporated in it. So here we go. Beautiful table spread. I'm very jealous. I want exactly what they're having. Uh, let's see. It actually does tell me. Okay, that's cool. So it has like, here's lingering over family style meals is central to the Mexican city, Mexico City lifestyle. Here's a multi-generational family. They are eating a pork rib and vegetable stew with ancho and pasilla chilies. And that is on page 136 so they actually give you the page number so which is great because there's a lot of times I'll look through cookbooks that are very story driven and they'll have like a huge table spread and it's like I really want to know what they're eating but they don't give it to you I appreciate that they have it's gorgeous so moving on that was my little mini soapbox beautiful corn the rest or the 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 photography is quite beautiful I love how they're showcasing both the culture, the food, the, yeah, just it's beautiful. The people, oh, yum. It's beautiful. Mexican markets, fantastic. History, I love it. All right, let's move on to some foods. So we have a whole history here. This is chapter, I'm trying to find it for you guys. It might just be the introduction chapter here, but we have also a list. It's interesting. It's almost like the back of each chapter has kind of the list of the recipes. So we have pasta with shrimp and arbol chilies, fava bean and nap napole soup. Napole soup, sorry. I don't know why I said it like that. And here's beautiful photography. On the lower, this part here, it actually lists out here... <laughs> So here's the dishes, here's what they are, what pages you will find them at. So it's kind of like all these safeguards. I really enjoy uh, all of this. This is a great way to display all the recipes in here. Again, there's some more recipes listed out. It's all listed. Just a big bulk of recipes. Not every single one is going to have a photo with it, but some do. So without corn, there's no Mexico. So we get to learn about all of that. We have even here what the photo, like exactly what are they making? So we get a whole, we get 
an explanation of what they're actually making and where you can make the same exact dish. That's cool. Oh, man. Yes. What is that? Oh, no. Oh, it is. It's corn on the cob with cheese and chili. Ugh, street corn. I am so jealous. This looks good. This looks amazing, too. So, yeah, this is fantastic. <laughs> Lunch is so soon. I'm so excited. Beautiful different photos of different kinds of tacos you can have um, because we're on the corn section and, you know, corn tortillas. And then what do you fill the corn tortillas up with? So that's very cool. Again, back of the book or back of each chapter, you have the list of different um, recipes. And the fact that we're able to do a list, like there's two columns each, a lot of the recipes are actually very straightforward. They're very easy. You can make them for lazy weekends. You can do them for busy weekdays. It's really nice. Um, it gives you the yield. You have all the ingredients, very simple. And then the uh, instructions are very, yeah, like I said, very straightforward. They even have given you uh, chili variations, if that applies, like different variations for each recipe. Here we have a tamales. Um, it looks like we're doing a tamale stuffed with fried rice. I'm assuming it's a step-by-step -step photo process of tamale making, but I could be wrong here. Yeah. If you're not looking, so here's the thing. If you're looking for a cookbook that's just standard, straightforward, you don't care about learning about these different cultures and people, you should. But regardless, uh, if that you just want to learn how to make the food, this might not be the cookbook for you because it's really heavy on learning about the culture. Like we learn about the different corn deity here. Like there's a lot of really cool, just basic information. But it's, uh, as far as like cookbooks go, the navigation could be a little rough if you're used to standard cookbook layouts. So that's just something, a, a little, a bit of my two cents. So moving on a little bit, we have, again, all of these amazing different uh, recipes. Miner's enchilada. Ooh, yum. It's got potatoes, chicken. Wow. All right, so we've got, this is the vegetable section. So we have these beautiful, this is a stewed zucchini and pambolano. And then we get to learn how to make this on a different chapter or a different page. Here's the different, uh, it's a San Juan market. Beautiful, I love that. Those are gorgeous photos. This is just Fantastic. I love the photography. This is a cactus and mint salad. Sounds good. Here we have dark red guajillo chilies. And this is a braised octopus. That looks fantastic. I haven't cooked with octopus much, so that's something that would be fun to do. Wow, just fa fabulous, beautiful. This looks fantastic. This is a seafood cocktail. Yum. Let's go ahead a little bit further. This is a pork loin with guajillo chili sauce. Looks great. This one looked really interesting. I actually, the first time I flipped through this book, this is the first page it landed on and it was so vibrant and beautiful and the cream it looks like a cream sauce but it's actually a walnut sauce this is a stuffed roasted poblano chili with walnut sauce and it just looks really really good and it's on page the actual recipe is on page 142 let's see if i can find it and it doesn't like there's a lot of different ingredients in here you can see like here we go i'm trying to help you visually it serves 10 people though. So it's that's probably why it's so involved. There's a lot of different ingredients. But once you get everything in the oven, it's pretty good, pretty straightforward. But it looks beautiful. I think those are pomegranate seeds. Uh, just kind of laid on the top to kind of give it that pop of flavor and that pop of, 
yeah, pop of flavor and pop of color. So that's really cool. This is a beautifully uh, organized, this is just a beautiful cookbook. There's a lot of cool recipes that I've never heard of that are very authentically Mexican cuisine. You get to learn alongside and cook. This is perfect for somebody like me. I really, really enjoy this. So this is World Food Mexico, Mexico City. This is by James Oseland. If you're somebody like me that likes to learn and cook at, at the same time, this might be a book for you. I think it's great, but it doesn't have the standard same cookbook thing layout that we always get, which I honestly can appreciate. So definitely check it out. This is really cool. Very fascinating. If you guys want more cookbook content, come check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We do a lot of cookbook stuff there. If you also are interested in our podcast, we try to publish every Friday. We do a weekly cookbook roundup of brand new cookbook releases that are coming out. Also, we have a website for more stuff if you want to come join us. If you like our videos, make sure to subscribe and like down below. It really helps us. It's a great support. Um, also, if there's cookbooks that you want us to check out and review, let us know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic week.